In this video, I interview William and Eden of Zamzara Dance Company. They share with us their passion for teaching, tell us whether dating in the Latin dancing is possible, and they have a special message for us. I'm here with William and Eden of Zamzara Dance Company. William is a one-time world cha-cha-cha champion, and now they're teaching all over the place. From Canada to the Coachella Valley and to Irvine. So thank you so much for coming out to the next IE Social. I'm very excited. William and Edith are gonna be hosting the first IE Social Social Dancer Showdown. They will also be teaching a two hour cha-cha-cha boot camp, like intensive boot camp. So for all of you that are shy to get out there when a cha-cha-cha song, com song comes on, come out to that workshop because I've taken actually some workshops from William before and it's amazing. And that will be Saturday, May the 20th at the Dance Center in Redlands. So how's it going, guys? It was good. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so tell us how you got started in dancing. You, ladies first. Um, I actually, me and my friend, shout out to Kayla. <laughs> uh, we got started dancing random choreography in her garage, just putting on our, our little CD and like trying to come up with choreography and then our parents finally put us in hip hop dance class actually, so I did hip hop first and then I did jazz in high school and then I started doing a little bit of ballroom and I found out about William's Dance Company and I started with him now almost seven years ago. Wow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I started doing salsa and ballroom and then from there we started partnering and that's how it happened. <laughs> really cool. Magic. Magic. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Cool. William, um, how about yourself? As for me, um, uh, hi, hi, hi everyone. <laughs> um, I actually started off, um, I was kissing butt to a Spanish teacher in high school, actually. Um, and she told me that if I would do a, I think it was a, a pep rally or like a talent show or something, if I did a salsa number with her, which I knew like that much about salsa, um, if I did a salsa number with her that um, I'd get an A for the rest of the year. Now, wow. I was a class clown. I didn't do my homework. I still don't know how to speak Spanish to this day. <laughs> I've taken it for like four years. Um, wow. But she said that if I did it, I'd get an A for the rest of the year. Wouldn't have to do anything. I was like, sign me up. Um, I had no idea it was going to like hit me the way it did. And I, I've just stuck with it. And um, dancing, dancing saved my life. I, I should wow. have been in a place that um, a, few, for a, few, a few friends of mine um, were actually killed. Um, wow. that I would have been there as well if I did not promise this teacher that I would actually go and watch a dance competition that she was in. And wow. so because I was at that dance competition, I was not with those friends. Um, and I found out about this accident um, the following morning. And wow. when my mom found out, she's like, yeah, we're going to dance. And so I've dedicated the rest of my life to it. Um, so, and I have no regrets behind it. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, that is pretty, uh, yeah, that's an intense thing to go through. <laughs> I'm sure that that constantly motivates you when you look back Always. at your origins. Cool. So tell me, why do you guys like teaching so much? I mean, you know, I see, I'm, I follow you guys on your Snapchat, on your Instagram, and on your Facebook. You're, you're all over the place from different congresses to different socials. And, you know, you're going to be at the IE Social. And I've gone to your... To your social out in Coachella Valley, which is great, by the way. People are awesome. You guys have really cultivated a really cool community out here. So, um, why do you guys like to teach so much? Uh, why do you? I'll, I'll, let you <laughs> I'll let you go to that one first. <laughs> um, I think dancing with another person teaches you a lot of different things about yourself and life in general, but I think mm -hmm. having the respect to ask someone, will you come out on this floor with me and we're gonna see what happens. We don't. We don't know. I don't know you. You don't know me. But we're gonna have respect for each other and figure it out together to this song and have fun. And I. I think that's beautiful. And I love seeing other people experience that. 
That's really cool. All right. I think mine is kind of the same. It's like I, I enjoy I enjoy seeing people put themselves, not being forced into it, put themselves in such a vulnerable position of not knowing how to do something or feeling un not confident about something, but wanting to actually go through through the process of actually what it takes to actually learn how to do this. And I think I teach primarily because I love seeing that growth. Awesome. Um, you know, within yourself when you're learning how to do something, it's so difficult to see what you're actually doing, see your growth, see your process, but it's so much easier to see someone else's process. And so as a teacher, as an educator, we, we have the, the privilege of being able to observe other people's growth and then yeah. live vicariously through their yeah. growth as well and then use that energy towards our own as well. So it's, it's very rewarding. Yeah. T tell me a little bit more about that re that reward that you mentioned there because, you know, I'm sure that you get some newbies, right? Oh, At yeah. your workshops Every or your week. classes, <laughs> that sort of thing. And then you see them three, six, nine months later and they're, you know, executing dips. They're doing like intense, you know, cross body leads or whatever. Just, you know, that sort of thing. Tell me about that moment that kind of like, yay, they get it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, like I said, it's rewarding. It's... Actually, the word that actually comes to my mind, it's very Disney, but it's, okay. it's very magical. Like it's magical. To, to watch someone that literally, when you go to dance, let me go backwards. And when you go to dance or start dancing, mm -hmm. it's almost like learning how to walk all over again. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you're like, wait a minute, which one is my left foot? Which one is my <laughs> right foot? Something that you never have actually thought about throughout your life growing up. You know, you yeah. walk, that's a normal action yes. throughout the day. And so, um, to go, sorry, I like lost my train of thought. I'm glad we can edit this. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. Uh -huh. But it's, what was the question? Rewarding. Rewarding. It, yeah. it's, it's very rewarding, it's magical. That's what I was saying. It's very magical. Very Disney. It's very Disney. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, it's watching that. someone go through that. It's like watching Bambi slip on the ice over and over and over and over again. And then at that one point, you're like, oh my God, you can walk and you yeah. no longer need me anymore. Yeah. And to me, I never, or for us, um, you know, we never, we always tell our students, we don't want you to need us mm. ever. We want you to want us. Um, wow. If you want us, we always will have something to offer you. But I don't want you to ever feel like you need us. Our jobs as educators, as teachers, is to allow you to go into the wild and be able to fend for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's a, it's a very magical feeling seeing students that have never done this before, yeah. that come in high hopes and it's like, all right, what's this gonna be? And yes. then, you know, you, you really just stick with them. And like I tell my, we tell our students all the time, sorry, the we, it's, it's tough mm -hmm. all the time. I always say I, but we are an us. Um, That's right. That's our, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we always say to our students, you dig in, we will dig in right alongside of you. It does not matter how long it takes, we will dig in right there with you. It's gonna be a long road because anybody who ever told someone that learning how to dance was easy lied through their teeth. Yes. It is not <laughs> simple. It ain't easy. It, yeah. It's not simple to do this. It takes a lot of, of structure. It takes a lot of discipline. discipline. It takes a lot of focus. Failing. Exactly. You know, learning how to do this is failing over and over and over again and being reminded of what it is you're supposed to do. So it's, it's rewarding when we have our students that that trust us. We take teaching yeah. very serious purely because you have trusted us. You've trusted us to take you to the next level mm -hmm. and we refuse to let you down with that. Yes. Anybody that trusts us in that, we refuse to let you down. Yes. Awesome. Eden, so you said you started off in hip hop mm -hmm. and then you moved on to ballroom. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that crossover because you see certain people doing, you know, <laughs> hip hop, ballroom and then salsa bachata or it's even been the other way around, right? Like. Some people are into salsa, bachata, mm -hmm. and then they get exposed to ballroom and then they just take that track. So tell me like kind of your progression and, and what, why you would encourage maybe even the ballroom community to learn more salsa and bachata. I mean, ballroom is like to me the ballet of partner dancing because it's all about the discipline and the technique. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's, well put. <laughs> I think learning how to do ballroom gives you the discipline to have perfect connection with someone and learn choreography and a bunch of different dance styles. It's not just just Latin. You can do yeah. American style and all that type of thing. But I think salsa to me is so much more of a social dance style and yes. you go to a club t to dance salsa. So, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> the, 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 
Well, coming coming from hip hop and then doing a dance that's just just you, you don't have a partner, you aren't trying to connect with someone. I felt like I had to unlearn like half, half of the yeah. stuff that I was taught. I mean, technique is technique. You learn how to point your toe. You learn how to put your arm out. Like that. That's always stuff that comes in handy. But learning how to dance with someone else, it's there's something there that isn't visual. Like if you go to a hip hop class, you can look at the teacher in front of you and you're looking at them and trying to put it into your own body. But with another person, there's an element that it's connection. It's it's not visual or just touch. It's a combination of both. So that for me was the hardest transition because when it comes to social dancing and improving with someone else, touching hands together, lead and follow, that was the main change for me, but that's what I find so beautiful about it, and that's why I've done it ever since. Awesome. <laughs> it's like the toughest part. Yeah. It's the toughest part about partner dancing. So if you haven't already, folks, please go ahead and like this video. Hit that like, or that wow, or that thumbs heart, up. that thumbs up, something. Um, we're also on um, YouTube under IE Social Interviews, where you can find not only just interviews, but tips, like in less than 60 seconds. I can't wait to get actually the tips that William and Eden are gonna provide. So <laughs> go ahead and like our IE Social page and the Instagram page, both the same um, handle, IE Social. Let's jump into the next question. This is kind of probably like the more juicier question. Um, so how long have you guys been dating? We've been together for four years. Now newly engaged. What? Ooh. Congratulations. It's a, show that ring. Boom. 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 Uh -huh. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Yeah, if you like to put a ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so four years. Four okay. Years. So that gives, that probably gives a lot of people out in the dance community some hope there. Um, <laughs> you know, I know, you know, from hearing from people, sometimes that's why they start dancing, right? They even say for like the ugly dudes, like that's kind of the great equalizer. The better you become at dancing, the more girls you get to dance with. Um, Women do like the guys who dance. That's right. <laughs> yeah. This is, is real. It's that's a right. real thing. So tell me, is dating or love, is that possible to find in the dance community? I feel it is. Um, being in this community for as long as I have been um, and coming from the other side, um, I actually used to think it wasn't. Um, I used to have a rule that I did not date my partners. Like that was a firm rule that I had. <laughs> yes. Which works for people. It, exactly. It's, for people. Because you have to keep in mind that when you have a partner, that is a relationship. Now, most people fail at one relationship, let alone having to operate two relationships. Yes. And so when you have a dance partnership, that is a completely different type of relationship mm -hmm. that you now have to manage and focus on. And so I never really agreed with compartmentalizing two, yes. two relationships together because it just made it very he um, hectic and chaotic. Um, but I've seen a lot of couples do it and so um, when she came along we were just we were just partners and it's like all right I like this this is cool and then it got closer and got closer mm -hmm. and then we're like let's try this and it was like a trial period to like <laughs> yes. see if it was really going to work out and it's only enhanced it. Um, my suggestion that I would truly have for anybody that's actually considering having a uh, personal relationship with their dance partner please do not go into it blind know that it's going to be work it's going to be it's going to be just as much work as having just one relationship if not harder because now you have two relationships yes. for us i mean we have we have multiple relationships we have we work you know, together we work together we're, we're business best partners friends. best friends <laughs> wow. um, we're a couple we're dance partners we run teams together so you know we have we have different components that we all always have to like juggle and balance and so you know don't go into it half-hearted like if you're gonna do it it is possible but it does require work it does require dedication it does require sacrifice it does require I won't call it sacrifice um, let me use a different word it, it, it requires compromise um, understanding um, in order to make it successful mm -hmm. um, because anybody can have it but whether yeah. it will be a successful one or not is a completely different conversation makes sense Eden how about yourself well, I think for people that are going out just to a club or social dancing, if you find that you enjoy dancing with someone, that itself is a connection, which is mm -hmm. it's great. But I think from there, taking it into, I want to say the real world, but that's not really... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the wild! Not, <laughs> yeah. not the dance scene. I think dancing is, is a language, so that's something, if you have that with someone, you can communicate in that way. That's beautiful. And, I think that can help you communicate in other ways, but okay. 
communicating verbally is a whole different ball game than just with dance. So I think if you find that with someone, that gives you an advantage to taking it to the next level for sure. So I think it's awesome to use social dancing in that way to meet people or find people you have something in common with. But I think there's definitely other challenges once you get past that point, coming into going on a date. Honeymoon or... stage, gone. All right. <laughs> is, it, is it gone? Is it gone? Oh, we, <laughs> we've been gone past the honeymoon okay. stage a long time ago. Long time ago. Like, this is like, this is real world. <laughs> but doesn't something happen when you guys get engaged? It's kind of like a new actually, honeymoon. Actually, yeah, I agree. Okay. Like, I actually made that statement to a friend a few days ago um, that, you know, I, I love this woman. And so, like, it, it gets to a point to where it's like, I know her. I love her. It's all good. You can't get any more than that. And then I propose, and it's like, oh, that's a totally different feeling of love. Yes. <laughs> so, like, it, it actually makes me that that... That new discovery actually makes me really excited about marriage now because I'm like, wow, if this is the new the new layer that got created yes. after engagement. I can only imagine what gets happened after marriage. What happens after children? We're getting a dog first, but okay. children, <laughs> yeah. and then okay. from that, it, like, it, there's layers to this, and that's what people really need to understand when you're going into mm -hmm. these type of relationships, um, whether it's a partnership, whether it's a, a personal relationship understand that these are layers that are going to yes. be built on top of that and uh, the strength of a relationship is being prepared for those layers to come up learn about them deal with them and make them solidified so that now you can add new layers to it it's like legos all right cool. relationships are like you have legos. a ton of or cake. Or, cake. or cake or cake or cake all right perfect <laughs> Well, I, I appreciate your feedback. I mean, so much to learn, so much to take from those responses. So if you're looking into finding love, I suggest you rewind to the beginning of that and like, you know, slow it down and take down some notes. We're going to go ahead and jump into a very new newlywed dating game. And we're actually going to, it's actually going to be called the Boogaloo, the Boogaloo Newlywed Game. All right. So... What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to see how well William and Eden know each other. Hopefully we don't start any fights, okay? Because right now everything's like peachy. Brain we're going to go ahead and ask them some questions. Pre-divorced after this game. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it past. Pre I'm just playing. Yeah. Prenup. Prenup. All right. Here we go. Sign it. You don't even know me. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Don't jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm confident. I'm confident. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and split them up, ask them each individual questions, and then we're going to bring them back together and see how well they'll do. Alright. Do we win? Cool. Do I win something? Do I win something? <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and do a friend, a, a just, you know, a friendly, ga you know, a friendly bet here. Uh, maybe like, who, who do we think is going to win? Who knows the other person? He's probably going to win. I'm going to win. Okay, William. <laughs> All right. So I'm predictable. You're predictable. Okay. So. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm so not. right now, I, money's on William. I have a feeling William's going to do very, very well. Stay tuned. <laughs> who is the better dancer? William. Hands down. He taught me. He's okay. Been, he's been my teacher for seven years now. All right. Next question. Who would your friends say is the better dancer? My friends or his friends? <laughs> <laughs> Just overall, who would who would people say is the better dancer? I have to say William. Okay. Next question. What is William's favorite cha-cha-cha song to dance to? Oh. Shoot. I'm putting an answer, but I know it's not what he's going to say. Okay. This what's, is the title of it. What's the title? Rice and Beans. Who liked who first? Did William like you first? Or did you like William first? I think William liked me first. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> because I don't even know. So you didn't know that he liked you? Uh, yeah. I, I think he was the one who made the first move. <laughs> okay. Who takes longer to get ready when you guys are going to go out? You? Okay. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> okay. Who is more likely to get into a dance battle at a club? 
William. <laughs> William, okay. I've done it maybe a couple times, but on the regular, definitely William. <laughs> so people, people call you out too, but it's more William. Mm -hmm. He initiates it. I'll like respond if it happens, oh, okay. but he will All make right. it happen. Who is more likely to dance off beat or off time? I'm gonna say William. <laughs> oh, oh, William. Oh, I... Who runs this relationship? It's 50-50. Ooh, 50-50, wow. It works. Really cool <laughs> diplomatic answer. Well, that does it for all the questions. We're gonna go ahead and bring William in and let's see what he says. <laughs> We're back with William. We're gonna ask him the same questions. Let's see what his responses are. So first question, William, who is the better dancer? William or Eden? Eden. Eden, okay. Who will your friends say is the better dancer? Um, that's actually hard, because I think my friends try to play both sides, but I think the majority of our friends unspokenly will say Eden. Okay. What is Eden's favorite cha-cha-cha song to dance to? Um... Anything that I decide to play? <laughs> All right. Um, I can equal. I, I can equal. All right. Who liked who first? Did William like Eden first? Or did Eden like you first? I liked her first. Okay. She made me work for it. Okay. That's why I put a ring on it. That's why you put a <laughs> ring on it. Who takes longer to get ready to go out? Eden. Okay. <laughs> Who is more likely to get into a dance battle at a club? <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> Who is more likely to dance off, off beat or off time? Me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who runs this relationship? Mm. I honestly feel she would say me because I'm like picky about everything, but I definitely try to like cohesively try to make sure that we okay. both have a say in this. So I'm gonna say both. Oh, wow. Well, that does it for William's questions. We're gonna go ahead and bring them back together and let's see how well they do. All right, let's do it. Yeah. We're back with the Boogaloo Newlywed game and let's see how well these two do, all right? Okay, first question. William, who did Eden say is the better dancer. Knowing her, she would say me. Okay. Yay, one for one. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Eden, who did William say is the better dancer? Did you say me? He said me. He said he was Eden. nice. Wow. Nice. All right. That like, was this true. is for real one for one here. That was true. We're off to a good start. All right. We're off to no battles yet. All right. Second question William, who did Eden say that about who your friends think is the better dancer? I think she said me again. Okay, William. Boom. Correct again. Eden, how about who did your. Who do you think William said is the better, the, about the friends being, thinking that they're the better dancer? I think they said him. Oh. Or you would say they would say him. Uh-oh. Okay, we're off on this one. Boom! You said Eden. It's okay though, we, we're still gonna, we're gonna make a comeback gonna here, okay? We're gonna ask our friends now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wanna it's know. It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> call call, call in a friend. friend. <laughs> Can we call a friend? Yeah, yeah, phone a friend, huh? <laughs> Third question. So William, who did, I mean, what song did Eden say is your favorite song to dance to? Favorite cha-cha-cha song to dance to? Ooh. I wish I could give a hint. <laughs> this was not a, yeah, I didn't know this one very well. Mary Lou? Oh, that's a good Mary one though. Lou. Okay. So Mary Lou, what did you actually say, Eden? Rice oh! and oh! Rice and oh! You do like that one, right? <laughs> That's my jam. Oh, thank you, Patricia. For That's us my up. jam. Oh, geez. Shout out to PA. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Eden, 
What do you think William said about what your favorite song to dance to is? I have no idea. Uh oh. What is it? I can't go. <laughs> Play it in the background. <laughs> Okay, we're going down here, downhill here, uh -oh. guys. We're one for three. There's still a few more questions. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So who liked who first, William? Who do you think Eden said? Me. Oh. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. They're coming back, folks. <laughs> it's Eden. true, though. I'm oh, it's true. She's like, it's true. I worked. I worked. <laughs> he put in work. Work. <laughs> Eden, who would you say William said about who liked who Him. first? Him. He knows it. You know. <laughs> oh, boom, he knows. Shade okay. like a visor. We're doing good here, folks. So, William, who did Eden say takes longer or takes longer to get ready to go out? This one. Okay, all right. <laughs> Do you? Kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. There are some dudes that take longer take, than the girls. I take some time, but it's like. It takes a long time to shave. Why okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, gotta get the perfect gotta get that line. line. <laughs> right. So can you do your reveal? Was that? Yeah, so you guys got ding, that. Ding, ding, ding. Eden, who did William say takes longer to get ready to go out? Me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. So there are, we, that was a good one. We're back in it. I think they're like 50-50 right now. I think so. so. All right. Six questions. I got one. I got one over you. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I got one. So who is more likely to get into a dance battle? William, what do you think Eden said? Me. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> I've actually seen you get into Happens a dance battle. Happens almost every time we go out. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> Come at you, bro. Anyone. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> All right. But but you're not shy to, to, no, to go at it, too. too. All right. I'm just more likely. <laughs> So Eden, who did William say is more likely to get into a dance battle? Him. Him? He knows it. Mm. He knows it. All right. No. They're doing good here. Struggle's real. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. All right. Seventh question. Last question. Let's see how well we do here. Who is more likely... Actually, we have two more questions. Mm -hmm. So who is more likely um, to dance off time or off beat? William, what do you think Eden said? I think she said her. Okay. Oh! E Denied. She said William. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. Cool. Here we go. You know me so well. Same. Oh. Same. I am the one. Yeah. I am the one. All right. We are tied. It goes down to this. The last question. Last question. William, who did Eden say runs this relationship? Like I said, I feel that we are a partnership, so I feel like it's it's both. It, it's it's a split. Wow. I think she said a split. Oh, actually, oh. yeah, both fifty fifty. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Here we go. Here we go. Show the love, Eden. Who do you think William said runs this relationship? Fifty fifty. How did you word it? Both. Boom, both. Both. Statistically, wow. she wrote 50-50. Yeah. She wrote 50 /50. I just wrote both. Yeah. Both wrote things. You said both, and then she's like, no, it's 50-50. <laughs>So thank you guys so much for participating <laughs> in the Boogaloo Newlywed game. That was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and like that button, share this video. Um, join us at the next IE Social taking place May the 20th for our very first IE Social Social Dancer Showdown. And that's going to be amateur. It's going to be salsa. Ooh, 50-50 and love. 50 -50. They're still giving the love. <laughs> All right. So the event is going to be actually hosted by William and Eden. They're also going to be doing a two-hour cha-cha-cha boot camp, intensive workshop, all that good stuff. So Come for, ready. For all those people who, you know, when that cha-cha-cha song comes on, you're just like, oh, I, I need to get into it. I promise you, take a workshop from William, and he'll take you to that next level where you can start feeling comfortable. I've actually taken one of those workshops. 
And like most of the people, actually all the people that I've brought out to the IE Social, I've taken workshops before prior to actually hiring them for you guys. So, William, tell me what can people look forward to at this Cha 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 workshop? You can look forward to getting your groove on. Okay? <laughs> like, it, 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 it's Cha Cha. It's, it's, it's Boogaloo. It, cha 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 breaks the rules. And yeah. so... In order to break the rules, you have to understand the rules. So we got two hours to teach you the rules and to teach you how to break it and then add your own swag to it as well. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one. Come ready. Um, come ready to work, come ready to learn. But you know, expect to learn a lot of body movement. Um, we're gonna work on spins and turns, timing. timings. How to start dancing exactly. cha-cha with someone. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, come ready for a cha-cha class, a cha-cha workshop that you have not experienced to date. Awesome, awesome. Any words from you, Eden, on the workshop? I would just say, like, for those of you who don't do cha-cha, I would say come try it out. You'll learn how to start a dance with someone. We are going to teach on two, I feel like we should All say right, that. Two. We are going to teach on Ooh. two cha-cha. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> on two. If you've never done cha-cha, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Come try it out. See how you like it. And the music alone is, is fun, and it's fun to listen to. So, yeah, well, if you can't get groovy with cha cha cha, you can't be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I mean, let me edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then and then the highlight of the night is definitely going to be the social dancer showdown, where and William and Eden are going to be hosting that. Part of it will be based on audience participation, but we will also have judges there. So calling out all the local Inland Empire dance studios, even some people from LA have uh, contacted me um, asking information about it. So anybody from LA who wants to participate, we also invite you to be a part of it. Any words on the competition, William? Um, keep in mind that it is an amateur comp, which means you don't have to be a teacher, you don't have to be part of a team, you're not, granted, if you are a teacher, you cannot compete in this competition yet. <laughs> But if you are part of a team but you don't teach, etc., there's no level that's expected. What we expect you guys to come out there and do is show what you are capable of right now. We want to see your heart. We want to see your soul on the floor. Leave it all there. Um, don't go in thinking it's a competition. Um, pretend the judges are not there. Um, just go out and just enjoy yourselves because that's what our judges, that's what we're going to be yes. looking for, is we're going to be looking for those people who enjoy and and really embody the concept of partner dancing, not creating a show, etc. I mean, granted, showmanship is good as well, but we want to see people who embody the concept of partner dancing, which means you're, you're taking care of your partner, it's safe, um, it's enjoyable, it's fun. Mm -hmm. We're hosting, so you got to bring me in. If I'm not Boom. feeling it, yeah. then you didn't do your job right. Yeah. So that's all we're looking for when you get out there on the floor. So just enjoy. Bring your all. Awesome. How about yourself, Eden? I would just say it, in the title, it's social dancing. So we are looking for lead and follow components. We want to see your interaction with your partner. It's not just to please a crowd or the judges. It is for your enjoyment. So that's definitely our number one thing we want to see is how and you and your partner partner feel the music and interpret together socially. Yes. So. I'll, I'll add this really quick, um, quick story, not like lengthy story. A student of mine used to talk to me about partner dancing because we talk a lot about this with our private lesson students and um, she came to me and told me one day, she goes, I was trying to mix food coloring and I tried to mix red and blue, which those two colors make purple. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I put a little too much red and it made a black icky color. And then I put a little too much blue and it made it still a black icky color. Same black icky color, but black. And she goes, it wasn't, it took me like several tries before I can realize the exact amount of blue and red so I can make that vibrant purple I was okay. looking for. For this competition, for this social dancing competition, we want to see you make purple. <laughs> wow. Perfect combination that, of red and blue. That yeah. is a crazy analogy. <laughs> I hope you guys were all able to follow that. I'm going to probably have to replay that. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. So one of the things that I love about these interviews is, of course, getting to know how people got started in, in dancing, um, you know, sharing their passion for teaching, all those sorts of things. I love asking people this, right? And I, I believe it provides a really great platform for people to express that. And so you can get to know the dancer more. 
Do you guys have any special or, or any messages for the dance community? Anything that's been on your heart that you want to share, encourage people, or, or just for them to be mindful of? Um, I would just say this is corny. Number one, look at your partner. I and mean, part we dance. notice even in class, if you're in class, you're obviously looking at the teacher and you're dancing with someone and your head is looking this mm -hmm. way and you're dancing with this person over here. So I would just say, on the dance floor in a class, don't neglect the person that you're dancing with if you're in a partner dance class. Okay. Um, just look at your partner. They're, as we like to say, <laughs> they are your best map and GPS to any move that you're learning how to do or navigating the social dance floor. Yes. Your partner is your guide to whatever you want to lead or follow next. Okay. All right. How about yourself, William? I'm going to quote Kendrick Lamar. All right. Be humble. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. Okay, that's it. I mean, it's <clears throat> there. There's no room in this community. There's there's so much going on in this community all the time. Okay. There's no room for egos. There's no room for uh, for spats, petty spats, um, for nothing. Um, stay humble. Um, stay training. Stay humble. I mean, I, I keep making the same statement. It's that's the one thing that's missing within our community right now is people preach humility but very few people exercise humility and so my suggestion would be to exercise humility for everyone including ourselves i mean we try to we we don't say much because you know it's practice what you preach with where we stand and you know but be humble you know it's you're never done learning i've been doing this for going on 15 years and yes. i'm not done learning there's still so much more that that I have to still learn. I'm just a big fish in a small pond. Um, okay. I have yet to take over the ocean yet. So if you want to take over the ocean, you got to stay humble so you can you can learn. And because the moment you let your ego get in the way, you know you stop learning immediately. And there's so much to learn, so Thanks. much. Wow, awesome! Thank you so much for that feedback. Um, Tell me, what are your upcoming projects? You guys are busy. I mean, you guys are all over the place. I wonder how much miles your cars have. I wonder how much frequent flyer miles you, know, you guys have. So, so tell me about your upcoming projects. Uh, upcoming projects. Um, we have um, coming up real soon. Um, we actually have the College Salsa Congress on May 6th. Uh, we'll be teaching a cha-cha-cha class as well um, at 12 o'clock over at the Granada um, in Alhambra. Okay. Um, coming after that, we'll be doing um, a, actually just before that, we'll be doing a master class at UCSD. Wow. Um, so those of you guys that are at UCSD, come check salsa. us out. Yeah. So salsa is going to be a master salsa class. Um, as far as big time events that we have, as far as congresses, we have LA Salsa Congress. Um, check the schedule um, as far as when we're actually going to be teaching. We don't know yet. <laughs> um, so, but check the schedule. They'll be posting it soon. So we'll have that. And then I believe we got Vegas after that. So wow. Woo woo, Vegas. Going from hot to hotter. Hot, yeah, hot, so hot. So, you know, Coachella Valley helps us, like, get that yes. heat, that heat wave going. You know, we got that tough skin now. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. um, but, I mean, those are, the, those are the things we got coming up. I mean, we have auditions um, for our Orange County team coming up um, at the beginning of June. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then... Um, you'll be seeing more of our Coachella Valley um, chapter um, performing both at Vegas and a few other locations. Wow. Um, really so, cool. you know, they're doing it big. So that's what we got coming up. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us, how can people connect with you? Is there a better um, avenue for them to reach out to you, like email or maybe Facebook, Instagram? Text message. <laughs> yeah, text message. <laughs> I, I suck. I absolutely suck at social media. That's why you never see me do anything. <laughs> All my posts, she posts. She's like, you want to post this? Yeah, go ahead. Do it. Um, but I mean, if you want to reach us, um, we do have a um, a couple um, Facebook page. An email. Eden. Um, you can also reach us um, if you want to reach us directly. Um, you can either private message us, either of us on um, Facebook, or Instagram. you can go uh, or Instagram as well. Um, or you can go to William and Eden at gmail.com. Um, we will be launching our new website um, in July. Um, it's called We Dance USA. Like William. Um, it's William and Eden. So oh, it's I like Lee. that. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's We Dance USA. Really cool. um, so that's going to be launched um, in July. We're building it right now. It's been a few little hiccups, but we're almost there. We're almost done with it. So um, that will be there. So you'll be able to kind of go on that and just see everything we're doing. Upcoming events, workshops, um, special little tips, etc. Um, we'll be starting a YouTube channel, We Dance, hashtag We Dance. 
um, where we'll be doing a tip of the a tip of the week, a step of the week, um, really cool. a technique of the week, just a little different things. We want to make sure that the community sees us and for what we actually have to offer you guys. Once again, folks, um, I'm very thankful to William and Eden for coming out to the IE Social and doing the two-hour workshop and also to host the first Social Dancer Showdown. Uh, we'll see you guys May the 20th. If you haven't already, please like this video. If you feel that somebody might enjoy this video, go ahead and share it with them. And also you could check us out on Facebook and Instagram under IE Social or even on YouTube under IE Social Interview. So we'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for this time. Out. Peace. Yay. <laughs>